Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can install a VPN on your router. If you put a VPN on your router, it's going to mean that everything connected to your Wi-Fi network is automatically going to be connected to the location in the VPN. So for example, right here with ExpressVPN, I'll have more information about all the VPNs I'm going to talk about in the description. But with this one right here, ExpressVPN, you have a ton of different locations that you can choose from. If I would pick one of them on my computer, I can set up the location in my router to one of them over here. So let's say France if I wanted, and then automatically any device connected to that router, to that Wi-Fi network, and it doesn't matter what it is, it can be a TV, a gaming console, just a laptop or a tablet, whatever it is, is going to be connected up to the VPN, and in this case would be connected to a server in France. And that means that any website you visit would think that you're in France. So for example, you can go onto your TV, you can go to Netflix, and instead of having the content library of wherever you locally are, you would instead get the France Netflix content library and you'd be able to access and watch any movies and TV shows from that country, whichever country it is that you connected to in the VPN and not just with Netflix, but with any streaming provider. That's just one very common example of how you could use a VPN when it's connected to your router. There's a bunch of others, but in this video, I'm going to go through the ways that you can do it. Now, there's really two different ways. You can either get a specialty VPN router. So ExpressVPN makes one called Aircove. NordVPN has one called Privacy Hero 2, and these routers come with the VPN pre-configured, so there's very little that you need to do, and it's just plug and play. The drawback with these is that they are quite expensive. So while this option is going to be the simplest and easiest, it isn't the cheapest. Now you can get your own router and set up a VPN on it, but even here, you're going to have to make sure that the router that you go with is compatible with a VPN. Not every router is. A lot of the routers provided by your ISP, your internet service provider, are not going to support a VPN. The easiest way to go about it is to know which VPN you want and then go on their website and see which routers are going to be compatible with that VPN. So for example, with ExpressVPN, you can see the routers right here, and these are gonna be the best ones to go with if you have ExpressVPN. And all of the top VPNs will have these lists. So for example, not just ExpressVPN, but NordVPN and Surfshark, all three of these, you can find a recommended router list for all of these. So let's say for Surfshark, we could go over here and on the website right here, we can see the recommended routers for Surfshark, NordVPN, the same thing, recommended ones for Nord. Now, in general, the steps are going to be the same regardless of which router you go with. You're going to go into your VPN and you're going to pick a certain location, whichever one it is that you want to be able to connect to on your router. So, for example, like I showed you before, it could be France, it could be anywhere in the world. All of these VPNs have at least a hundred countries to choose from. And then you would go and download a config file for that location. You're also going to get a username and password and you want to remember those credentials. From there, you're gonna go into your browser and you're gonna go into your router's settings. So you're either gonna to have to type in something like 192.168.1.1, or maybe it'll end with 0.0.1, but one of those should work and then you'll be able to get into your router settings. You may have to enter in the username or password for your router so you can find it on a sticker on your router itself. Usually it's just admin and admin for both the username and password. Once you're in the router's interface, you would go to wherever it says VPN, which it should say somewhere, and then you would choose create a new file. You would upload that config file that you downloaded. You would put in the username and password that you got on the VPN's website. You would probably want to give it a description, something that says the location that you're connecting to, just so that for the future, you can know that, you know, this is the ExpressVPN Spain connection or whatever it is. And then you would just activate it. And that's really all there is to it. Your router will connect up to that VPN server and automatically every device that you connect to on that Wi-Fi network will be going through that VPN connection as well. And really all three of these VPNs are great options to put on your router. I like ExpressVPN the most. I find that it has the best speeds and the most stable connections. NordVPN is also really great and very fast as well. And while I haven't found Surfshark to be as fast as Nord or Express, it is the cheapest of the two. So if you're on a budget and you want something that's very high quality and isn't gonna break the bank, then Surfshark is the way to go. If you do have a little bit of extra cash, definitely consider going with either Nord or ExpressVPN. Now, in order 
order to make it a little bit easier, I actually do have discount links for you in the description below. So those will get you all three of these VPNs at the best possible price. They all have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try them out and see which one you like. If you don't like it, all you have to do is just contact customer support and you can get a full refund. So let me know in the comments which VPN you decide to try out. If you have any issues, any technical problems setting it up, you can also leave a comment. I'm gonna do my best to get back to you and help you get this set up on a router. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.